Today is the 7th of June, year is 2020, 5.20 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is where we're reporting from. What I want to show you guys is the alignments that we're currently facing. We just had the full moon, right? With the solar eclipse, uh, sorry, with the lunar eclipse. And what is this? Moon, Earth, and what else? And Venus. This alignment here is going to cause a lot of magnetism. Good morning, my beautiful benevolent warrior brothers and heron sisters of love and light. Today is Sunday, June the 7th. The year is 2020. The time is 4.01 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can tell because this says this is Los Angeles time. So what I want to show you guys today, look at this right now. This happened 30 minutes ago. 5.4 is a magnitude they reported, but in all reality, this was a 6 because they're always downgraded by at least uh, 0.5, uh, 0.5 of a magnitude okay so this is technically a six uh, uh, magnitude earthquake and look where it hit it's a very populated area okay in Peru so one thing I want to show you look at this one here as well well this is the one that worries me but for the west coast we've been going off at a pretty uh, high frequency and what I mean by that is this so this was last night this is one thing I noticed and I took a snapshot of it okay so then uh, minutes later and as you can see you can't really this orange one here is Lompoc all right, it's uh, I'll show you right now why I'm saying that Lone Puck is about here, okay, and it was like about 2.4 is what it was uh, reported, but technically that's about a three almost a three. But and this was uh, around 7 p.m. yesterday when I seen that, and then this at what time 9.03 p.m. there's a one came in word so it's creeping inward okay so this tells me that in the next three days or so maybe even less the west coast is gonna get rocked with at least a five point something reason why I say that is let me show you a few more of this uh, at 9 35 p.m. only minutes later look how much red came up and how many more are, are and these are pretty big this one's about 5.6 okay 5.1, uh, 4.9, 4.7, 4.9 uh, right here. So uh, this one was uh, uh, 4.1, um, stuff like that. These are pretty big. This is not normal. It's, it's never been this filled up, okay? Especially these areas. I don't understand why there's earthquakes here. There's hardly ever been earthquakes here, okay? Here's some more. Um, and then at 10.05 p.m. last night, this is the earthquake that concerns me okay it's 5.1 which tells you it's a 5.6 at least okay that's the true um and then a death of 10 this usually gives it's an indication that this to me and my theory is that this earthquake was at a depth of deeper than 600 kilometers okay because that's the most it, it can read all the size um seismic readers they can only read up to 599 kilometers deep and i think this one was so deep that they just automatically put it at 10. whenever you see a 10 that means it was way deep it was deeper than 599 kilometers inside of earth that means energy came from above into this and created this and what's going to happen it's going to come out in this antipode what is the antipode is the opposite end of the world so as you can see here uh let's see this is africa here okay here's the horn 
Okay, here's that little island, meaning this little one here. See, here's the horn, and here's that little island. It's reverse. I'll show you right now. I'll put it back to normal, but it's in his in his reverse, like I said. So horn down to the opposite, right? Horn down to the opposite. So let me bring back that one okay here you go so that's the the little island is to, towards the middle meaning towards india so there's the horn of africa there's that island is australia that means this is india right here right so this is that earthquake but if we go if we see the opposite end let's erase the inside what do we get so once again look at where that target that circle is right there dead center What's dead center? Mexico. But what's closest to it is this coincidence that this, oh, where'd it go? 5.1 or 5.5, that's the real one, but still 5.1 is nearly identical to this 5.5. This is no coincidence, okay? And then so the technical points here and check it out look at the area right of mexico well we already we already have a hit there uh again this is kind of uh, the west coast getting very hot this is not normal there's a lot but more but look at there it is there it is okay and this is only the start of it this was two hours ago this is only the start of it because that energy like i was saying i'll show you what i mean by that so the opposite end see africa right there and then if we place this in the center okay and then we go to look inside so we can see the opposite side the antipode where does it put us at okay there's that so it is reverse here's florida this is the west coast okay and this is the east coast it's just reverse because that's the back side of the earth but look at where it places it okay so that goes to show you that this uh, that comes out up here right here so i'm telling you in the next few days there's gonna be a pretty big earthquake again another 5.5 or so okay anywhere from about el salvador and on up thank uh, not thankfully it's, it's sad that there's this big one that just happened here meaning this one 5.4 which means what it's a 5.9 basically a six it happened it's sad that it had to happen there because that probably created a lot of havoc in fact i'll check for that right now what, what is this considered ecuador or peru peru okay i'm gonna check on on, on youtube in, in, in a little bit for peru earthquake see if any videos pop up but the what i was trying to say is some of that pressure got released there but look how this looks this this is not normal all this here is not normal okay so hopefully this was that pressure if not look this area is going to get hit really hard or around here okay uh, in the next few days so please be on high alert and i want to show you guys an update that is actually not good for californians especially living in southern california basically all of west coast okay all the way from canada right southern southwest canada you know right there close to the washington border all the way down to baja california mexico okay so uh, but especially in the southern california region this is the highest that has hit inland okay uh, especially near a populated area this is what the world has been facing okay as you can see right here this is a screenshot it shows the date june 6 year 2020 at 9:03 18 p.m so this was uh, yesterday morning uh, yesterday night because right now it's morning right we have to prepare okay because this is not a good sign okay but that's not the big one i mean obviously and you guys know this and don't forget they always lower the magnitude at least half a magnitude 
For XYZ reason, I can care less, but we, we have figured it out between several scientists and I. Um, so these are higher, a little bit higher than what they're re being reported. Okay, but what I want to show you is, we're going to see if anything else develops and I'll report back, but I'm telling you, the West Coast needs to be on high alert for a, a big earthquake, bigger than this one. It's going to be like 5.5 .5 to 6.1 or so. And I, I'm not exactly sure, but this is the technical antipode right here, meaning the opposite end of this area. Okay, so the antipode of this 5.1, okay, as you can see, we'll take off the solid so we can see where it's going. Follow it, follow it, follow it. All right, let's stop it there and bring it back up to where is the center here, right? And there it is. See where it hits it? Look how close that is. That 5.5 is very near that 5.1. So it goes to show, and this, this is an old one. So there's energy coming very shortly. Okay, this is too far away from this area. So I know that this energy is not, uh, um, did not cause this one that just recently happened. This energy at, on the opposite end is gonna cause an earthquake somewhere in this area, a pretty bad one, trust me. 5.4 or so at least. Let's just hope it's not in a very populated area, this epicenter. And let's just hope it's very deep okay at least a 200 kilometer depth i will um if you know anybody in california i know it sounds it's kind of odd but please just i mean what other excuse do you have i mean today is sunday and we're overall we're in lockdown for most people most people really don't have jobs right now so just call your loved ones and say hey just just wanted to check up on you see how things are going with you and just say hey, are you Ready, prepared for an earthquake in case an earthquake happens? Do you do you have a contingency plan for your children and this and that and blah, 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 and just speak to them, okay? And get them aware that uh, we should be on high alert right now for various obvious reasons. And here is one, okay? I'm telling you, there's gonna be a pretty decent earthquake in the next three days in the West Coast. One love, one light, one life, for together our light will shine much brighter. My name is Jesus Nezaya Medina, the creator of the 1234 Flush, also Soul Reviver School of Light, rehabilitating every vessel internally via emotions and resonance. Soul Reviver, bringing you a transformation from the inside out. Don't forget, you're only limited to your creativity. Pain is temporary, pride is eternal, fulfillment lasts forever. The fight will be worth it. Please. Please, please, please keep your vibrations high today and tomorrow with your family and everyone else. Love you. Peace. May be with you. And I want to take this moment to present to you a true benevolent warrior brother of love and light, my good friend Michael Lazaro of the Evolutionary Energy Arts YouTube channel. Go visit his page, all right, at the Evolutionary Energy Arts YouTube channel. Okay, and finally, we're going to close off with some planetary alignments, okay? We're going to show you what the planets are looking like for the next few days. And here we go. What I want to show you guys is the alignments that we're currently facing. We just had the full moon, right? With the solar eclipse, uh, sorry, with the lunar eclipse. And what is this? Moon, Earth, and what else? And Venus. This alignment here is going to cause a lot of magnetism. And that's another reason why we're going to see a pretty big earthquake on the west coast. Okay, and as you can see, as we go forward slowly, Twenty seventh June is going to be pretty, ex pretty uh, ex interesting stuff that might be happening because of this alignment here, this magnetism happening here. And then twenty sixth October, that's going to be an interesting one as well. Mars, Earth, Mercury, partial Moon. When also, whoa! Then we got Venus, Sun, Jupiter, and Saturn lined up as well 
26th October. It's gonna be a pretty so uh, around the 27th there should be some pretty crazy seismic activity. Even starting on the 25th, it shouldn't be high as far as magnitudes, but frequency will be high. But around the 27th, that's when the magnitudes are going to be really high. So remember that we got some coming up this past few days. And just be ready so you don't get shocked. Okay, so you're prepared and you don't panic. Peace. Okay, my beautiful benevolent warrior brothers and heroine sisters of love and light. Have a great weekend. Play us safe. No steps back unless you're taking a dance with one of your loved ones. All right. So only step forward. Forward progress. All right. Don't limit your creativity. Pain is temporary. Pride is eternal. Fulfillment lasts forever. The fight will be worth it. Whether it's mental, physical, spiritual, or emotional, the universe will reciprocate very dearly one love one light one faith and the one life and the one source for together our light will shine much brighter peace